Hello folks and welcome once again to Focus on East Alabama. It's our pleasure to have with us today the Executive Director of the Children and, Children and Family Connection here in Phoenix City, April Spear. April, again, let me thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and, and uh, agreeing to uh, have us come and visit with you a little bit. I, I know I that uh, uh, this month, of course, is uh, Child Abuse Awareness Month uh, all over the entire state of Alabama. And uh, we wanted to talk with you a little bit about that and some of the things that you've had going on uh, in conjunction with uh, uh, Child Abuse Awareness Month. Okay. Tell us about some of the things that you've been been having uh, this month, please. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, um, you know, uh, if you have ridden down uh, 13th Street, you may have noticed the, uh, the building next door to CB&T Bank. There are pinwheels out on the front flower bed, and there's a blue ribbon um, on uh, the sign out front. And that's to create awareness um, of uh, Child Abuse uh, Awareness Month. Um, so, and if you haven't uh, ridden by or you haven't noticed, um, come on out and take a look and you'll see we have a pinwheel garden and you'll uh, notice that we do have ribbons um, both outside the building and inside the building. And then we also have a very special project going on um, inside is that we have partnered with the uh, third grade students at uh, Westview Elementary School mm -hmm. and they have uh, drawn some wonderful artwork for us and it's displayed inside um, our agency and it does supposed to depict the importance of family and uh, ways that you can prevent child abuse. Um, and uh, we want to get, to get the community involved in this effort by we have uh, asked the members of the community to come out and vote for their favorite picture. So all you have to do is stop by our office uh, anytime uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday and you can browse the artwork and then you'll just uh, take a little slip of paper and you write the number, all the pictures are numbered, you write the number of the your favorite piece of artwork and we have a box for you to drop it in. And at the end of the month, uh, we'll tally up uh, the responses and then the uh, winning uh, piece of art, the child will receive uh, a ribbon and then a special treat from one of the restaurants here in town. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds great. How did you come up with the, well, I assume this was your idea, right? How did you, well, I know you did this last year. Right, too. we did. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So this is the second year um, that we have done it and we had a great response last year. So we decided that we would do it again um, this year. And uh, actually the staff was just sitting around brainstorming, you know, trying to think of well, what is something that we can do to, uh, you know, show the community, you know, the importance of, uh, you know, preventing child abuse. And uh, this is what we, we came up with, you know, as a staff. So I can't say that I can take uh, full <laughs> credit for it, you know, but we worked as a staff together yeah, to come up a, with a it. Team and, came up with the yes, idea. we did. Okay. And, it's, and it's been, you know, uh, great. The community has responded very well. Okay. Well, I know we, uh, when we came in, we were taking some uh, additional sh footage of, of the artwork right. out there. And uh, Tony and I are going to participate and judge for you also today okay, while, while we're down here. So uh, we'll, we'll take a good close look at it. Now, l let's talk a little bit about uh, April. And I know that you're involved with this along with the Child Advocacy Center and, and other agencies here in town. Uh, with child abuse. Mm -hmm. How prevalent is child abuse in today's society? It's probably, you know, more prevalent than you think. Sometimes it happens and, you know, nobody knows that it's happening, you know, um, because children, you know, sometimes they're afraid to speak about it and tell somebody that somebody is hurting them. It may be happening, you know, with a family member, uh, somebody that the child is very close to. Um, you know, the child you know, maybe have been told by that family member, you know, don't say anything. Um, so uh, I would say that there's a lot of cases that happen that are probably never, you know, reported. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it, and it's sad because, you know, children are, are, are very precious to us. You know, they're, they're our future. Exactly. Um, so we need yeah. to do whatever we can, you know, to protect them. Um, you know, so that's why, you know, in April, you know, we feel like it's very important for our agency, you know, which believes in the preservation of the family unit, right. you know, to, you know, take a stand on this cause and, you know, and show the community that, you know, we're here for families. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that you're not a specialist in this area, but right. tell us some of the things that we adults can look for as 
signs of child abuse. Okay, okay. Um, you know, there may be, you know, at times when maybe a child may become uh, withdrawn. Um, and of course, you know, there's the physical signs. If you see, you know, bruising on a child, um, red marks, um, you know, just things that don't look right. Or maybe the child may say something, um, you know, or, you know, have a certain fear maybe of a certain adult or, you know, other person um, in their life. Um, you know, it's not to say that if a child does have bruises or marks that, you know, something is going on, um, you know, other things can happen. You always um, fall off a bicycle. Yes, or, you can. Yes, hurt you yourself can. Roller skating. Yeah, that's or, right. Or whatever. That's yeah. right. Um, you know, but if there's other things that accompany that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that it, that may be an indication that something, you know, it, is not right. Um, you know, and sometimes, you know, you can question the child and, you know, the child may open up to you, um, you know, and sometimes the child, you know, may, may never, you know, say anything. What is the first step that a parent or guardian needs to take if they suspect child abuse? Uh, well, they need to, you know, report that to the proper authorities, you know, either uh, law enforcement or, uh, you know, the Russell County Department of Human Resources. Um, you know, and it's not the person that, you know, suspects it. It's not their job to confirm that it is happening, you know, but to make someone who can do something about it to try to, you know, stop it for the child. Um, they will do the investigating to determine, you know, whether or not it, it is occurring. Right. Well, I, I know you work hand in glove with the folks at the Child Advocacy Center and they have specialists there they do. that uh, can deal with these situations mm -hmm. and advise uh, folks who are suspect uh, there has been child abuse or is child abuse going on mm -hmm. uh, in this. Now, uh, and I'm sure Lynn Hammock wouldn't mind us mentioning her <laughs> right. and her, her agency. Yeah, her agency is wonderful in responding to that. Mm -hmm. And they're available like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, because child abuse, I mean, there is no time of day for it to occur. You know, it may happen any time of day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the same with, you know, reporting child abuse. You know, just because it's not business hours between, you know, eight and five doesn't mean you can't report child abuse. Right. You know, if it's after hours, um, you call the uh, Russell County Sheriff's Department to report, um, you know, child abuse. How about so. some statistics? information for the state of Alabama as far as child abuse is concerned. Can you relay some statistics to us? Um, well, I don't have any specific statistics, you know, in mind because, you know, once again, you know, uh, Lynn's agency, the Child Advocacy Center, they right. deal more hands-on, you know, right. with that because typically if we have a case to where we suspect that abuse is going on, we would report that to Russell County DHR, you know, and if, and if they confirm or they're doing an investigation, then they actually, the case would be transferred down to the Child Advocacy Center for treatment, and oh, we don't do okay. treatment of child abuse here. Right, so. okay, okay. Now, I know every time uh, we, we get together and we talk, we, we talk about the organization that you're the executive director of, mm -hmm. the origin of it, and, and how long it has been uh, here, and some of the services that you offer uh, in addition to dealing with child abuse. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. Well, what we are, Children and Family Connection, uh, we're a family resource center, uh, you know, which means, you know, we serve families and we serve all members um, of the family. We serve adults, we serve children, we serve uh, teenagers, um, we serve, um, you know, the, the elderly population. So, you know, we don't discriminate, you know, based on any of, of those factors. Um, you know, and some of the services that we provide, uh, we do have an on-site food pantry, um, we have an on-site clothing bank, um, and actually, um, today, um, um, we, we are, have a, an attorney representative here from uh, Legal Aid of Alabama, and she mm -hmm. provides you know, legal services free of charge um, okay. you know, to clients who may have uh, legal issues or legal needs. Um, we do special activities, um, just like um, we were talking about earlier, where you know, we partner with the schools to do various activities at different times of the year. Um, and of course, at Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, you know, we uh, provide Thanksgiving baskets to families uh, that we've been working with during the year at Thanksgiving. Um, and then at Christmas, uh, we select several of our families um, to receive, uh, you know, uh, Christmas gifts, um, right. and we try to find sponsors um, for those. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I believe last time I was on, uh, that was uh, one of the things that I talked about. We had just had a wonderful, um, you know, response, um, you know, to that. Right. So. Okay. So, what is your single biggest need as far as the children and family connection is concerned? Uh, well, you know, money and finances to do, you know, continue to do our work. Um, you know, we, um, we are funded by uh, the Alabama uh, Department of Human Resources, um, you know, and, uh, you know, they've 
uh, suffered budget cutbacks, um, you know, and so, you know, more funding so we can do more programs in, in, in the community. So, you know, uh, we have to be limited in some of the things we provide because we know we just don't have the, the financial resources to provide all that we'd like to provide. If there's someone out there that's watching our program uh, at, and would like to make a contribution, Tell folks how to go about doing this. Okay, uh, there's several ways that you can make a contribution. Uh, one, you can, uh, you know, certainly bring your contribution uh, by to the agency. Uh, we'll be glad to accept it. Um, and all contributions are tax deductible, um, so you will receive a receipt uh, for your donation. Um, you can mail it uh, to us. Um, you know, our um, uh, you can call and, and get our mailing address. Um, we'll be glad to give it to you. Um, and also, you can visit our website. Um, and there's a uh, link on our website uh, to where you can uh, make a donation. Uh, via credit card um, through uh, Razoo. Um, so th there are several different ways you know, that you can um, donate to us. Um, and if you don't want to make a cash donation, we accept uh, donations of cloth of clothing, um, canned used, goods. Used, but not abused. Yes, yes, <laughs> gently used. Um, you know, if, if, if you wouldn't wear it yourself, you know, then probably, you know, it's not a good thing to donate uh, to right, our clients. Right, right. Um, you know, and then, of course, food, because we have a food pantry. So any type of non-perishable, uh, you know, food item, whether it be canned goods or, um, you know, staples such as rice, macaroni and cheese, things like that. Mm -hmm. And if we have a family out there maybe who needs some, some assistance now, mm -hmm. Can they just come walk in and talk with you and, sure. and see about getting some help? Sure. Um, our business hours are uh, Monday through Thursday um, for, from uh, 9 a.m. to 5.30 uh, p.m. And, um, you know, they don't have to call and make an appointment. You know, they can call if they want to, um, you know, but, you know, someone will be here, you know, to try to assist them, um, you know, with that need. Okay. Now, when we come back in just a moment, I, I actually want us to... Uh, talk a little bit more about the, the art contest that okay. you've got going on, and let's see if we can't stimulate a little more interest in that. Okay. We're actually going to go out and uh, uh, talk in front of the, uh, of the artwork itself, okay. and uh, you, might, uh, you might give us a, a, a few ideas as to uh, the, the mindset of these kids that are doing this okay. artwork, okay? okay. Sure. So we'll be back with more focus with April Spear at the Children and Family Connection in just a moment. Smith's Station Animal Hospital understands the special role your pets play in your life. For almost 20 years, we have offered superior veterinary care. Our services include small animal medicine, surgery, dental, digital radiology, laser therapy, boarding, and grooming. We have a complete in-house pharmacy and a full line of prescription diets. Only minutes from Columbus on Lee Road 430 beside the post office. Smith's Station Animal Hospital, the very best for your pets. Hi, I'm Bryce. Are you still looking for some furniture? Central Home Furnishings is your one-stop shopping center for all your new furniture. Check out the reclining power motion furniture and lift chairs. Just in our collegiate rockers and camera recliners with matching sofas. Come see our Englander Sleep Center and take home a set of Englander bedding for a good night's sleep. Be sure and tell them, Bryce. And Meg sent you. Welcome back to Focus on East Alabama. Well, folks, as you can tell, uh, we have moved out to uh, out into the lobby here at the Children and the Family Connection on 13th Street. And uh, April, I guess the best way to tell folks how to find you is to find the new CB&T building and then find the old building, and you're in the old building, That's right? right. <laughs> this That's right. this was formerly CB&T Bank, right? That's right. But uh, as you can see in behind us, we have some samples of uh, of the artwork uh, that was submitted by the kids at uh, Westview. And uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, Tony and I are gonna pick out one of these two as, as uh, what we think is, is the better one. But tell us a little bit about the concept behind the art contest. Okay, okay. when we presented the idea um, uh, to the school, you know, we uh, told them that basically, you know, we want pictures, you know, that will show, um, you know, how families are nurturing, you know, uh, positive things that go on in families. Um, you know, and things that, you know, uh, might discourage, um, you know, abuse. Um, so, you know, we want positive family pictures. We didn't necessarily have to uh, include people, you know, in the pictures. Uh, some of the pictures do include people, but uh, some pictures don't. You know, they could do symbols. They could use anything that they thought, you know, would depict it something very nurturing, you know, about a family, you know, or was symbolic of a nurturing family. Okay. Um, and All we right. got some great pictures. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, the winner last year uh, 
What was the theme in that particular piece of artwork? Do you remember off? Uh, I can't recall off the top of my head, but I know that it was uh, it was a wonderful uh, you know piece of art. Uh, the child who did it, you know, she had some really great um, you know talent, um, and uh, you know she she was overwhelmingly won you know uh, mm -hmm. first place you know mm -hmm. in our last year's contest. Okay. So. And again, tell folks out there how they can go about coming by and helping you pick the winners in this contest. Okay, okay. Um, you know, it'll only take just a few minutes um, of your time. You can stop by on your lunch hour, um, you know, anytime during the day, like I said, uh, between 9 a.m. and uh, 5 p.m., uh, Monday through Thursday, um, you can come in and vote. And all you'll do is, um, you know, you will tell um, whoever greets you um, what you want to do, you know, that you're here to judge the artwork um, for the, in the child abuse uh, artwork. And you'll uh, sign your name uh, to our list and we'll give you a little slip of paper and you'll browse through the artwork and um, you probably can't see it here but each piece of art has a little number in the bottom right hand corner and you'll just okay. jot down that number um, on the little piece of paper you're given and we have a blue box that's set up and you'll drop it in that blue box and um, then you'll be finished um, and you could also um, you can get uh, a ribbon um, that you can wear um, you know on your on your clothes that you can uh, wear multiple times uh, throughout the month of April you know to show that you are um, in support of you know preventing child abuse um, so um, you know please come by um, you know we'd love to have uh, the great uh, participation of the community um, we've already had a number of people from the community stop by but this uh, the judging will be going on all the way through the 25th um, of April um, so you've still got plenty of time to come by and uh, choose your favorite work of art Okay, now I have to ask you this. When are you going to announce the winners? Okay, um, it will be probably on either the 26th or 27th um, of April. We've got to coordinate that um, uh, with Ms. Lewis at Westview Elementary School. Um, you know, and what would be a good time for us to come in um, and, uh, you know, uh, have the kids come in and then present um, the ribbons. Uh, because uh, the winner is not just going to be a winner in name. Um, we're actually going to go to the school and present the top three winners uh, with ribbons. Um, and then also uh, they will be uh, receiving a treat from um, a a local eating establishment. So okay. um, the kids right. are going to be rewarded, you know, for their efforts. Yeah. So okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how many total entries did you have this year? Uh, this year, I think we had. I want to say about 41, 42. I think we had 42 okay. entries. So not. We had. I think about 65 uh, last year. So a little bit fewer um, than last year, you know. But we've still got uh, a lot of great pieces of art. Um, not here. necessarily quantity, but quality. Quality. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and it adds a great addition you know, to our lobby. Um, I know last year I think we left all the artwork up about a month after um, Child Abuse Awareness Month was over. You know, just because you know we thought it was a great addition. You know, to our lobby. Right. And you did mention that there are no names on, on the uh, artwork itself. Uh, so the child's not identified right, here, so, here uh, on the front of the artwork. Right. It, the child's name shouldn't be. It might be on the back. Um, but the child's name is probably not um, on the front of the artwork. We tried, you know, not to, uh, you know, have the artwork identified by name, you know, but identified by uh, other ways, you know. And, um, and these are all third grade kids, right? Yeah, third graders from Westview Elementary School. Okay. So. And, and you mentioned the principal's name. Ms. Lewis. Uh, Ms. Lewis. Ms. Lewis is principal out there now. Okay. All right. Now, I noticed that some of them put a, uh, a title or a, a theme mm -hmm. uh, on, their, on their artwork itself. I noticed this one up here says, Love and Don't Abuse. Uh, well, this one, I'm <laughs> you'll have to read that it, one for me. <laughs> it says, No Abuse in Love, I think to two. I think that's what it says. Please, America, please. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> heart on it, and some clouds, and blue sky, and I'm not sure what what that is, but um, I think that's yeah. an eagle. Oh, okay, an eagle. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that uh, we're going to enjoy walking around and taking a look at these. Now, is there anything else that you want to communicate to the folks out there that are watching this? Not only just about the art contest, but your your function in the community. Okay. Um, yes, well, uh, you know, with, with the art contest, you know, uh, we, you know we want uh, tremendous 
participation, you know, from the community. You know, it's, it's, it's open to anyone who lives, um, you know, in this community. Um, you know, so just stop by and see what it's all about. Um, and like I said, you know, earlier, um, um, you know, your curiosity might be piqued when you see all the pinwheels, you know, outside the office. And that will also let you know that you're in the right place. Uh, I don't think there's another business on this street that has pinwheels out front. No, I, I noticed driving it. That was the first thing I noticed when we drove, we actually we parked out by it, but I noticed the pinwheel flower garden out there. Yeah. It, it's really kind of neat. Yes, it is. You know, yeah. um, you know, it, it's very distinct. So that 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 will kind of let you know that, that you're in the right place. You know, so so come on in and you know be a part. You know, of our efforts to prevent uh, you know, child abuse. You know, not only you know in Russell County. You know, but you know throughout the state and you know and throughout the United States. Um, and as far as our agency goes, uh, you know, we're here for the entire community. Um, like I said, we're a family resource center. You know, we provide services for the entire family. You know, and if you're not sure, you know, if, if you have a need or you know someone who has a need and you're not sure whether our agency provides that service, um, either call or come in. Um, and typically, if it's a need you have that maybe we don't provide that direct service for, um, we will refer you to someone else, you know, in this community that does provide, you know, that service. You know, we're not just going to tell you, oh, no, we don't provide that and turn you away. You know, we're going to try to find you the help or the assistance that you do need. Right, okay. All right. We're going to break away with our conversation with April now, but we're going to actually uh, get some close-up shots of some of the artwork. Okay. We're going to set it to music and, and uh, let this uh, bring out uh, the, the themes and the, the artwork itself. And we're going to show this with a little bit of background music and so forth. But I did want to take the opportunity to say thank you for allowing us to come in and visit with you. And we trust by doing this that maybe we might be able to get some more folks, folks to come in and, and vote for their favorite piece. Yes. So April, once again, let me say thank you very thank you. much. And thank you too for being with us for Focus today. Need to remind you that Focus on East Alabama is brought to you by CTV Beam, your hometown provider for cable television, high-speed internet, and home telephone. See you next time. <laughs>